glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Virginia Tech's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. And they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackled around the 28 yard line. Eight yards. That makes it second and two. And they make the stop at the 29. about the 31. You know, on these shorter distances to pick up a first down, it's basically the offensive line matching up against the defensive line. And on that particular conversion, the offensive line did a nice job of getting just enough of a push to give the back enough room for the first down. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Run there. On the carry. That's a gain of seven on the play. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Watch 36. 36 tonight. There was some movement on the line. Setting up the play action. Ball start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. He goes downtown. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. When you blitz, you're leaving your corners on an island in man coverage. And if those guys can't keep up with their man, you can give up some long completions like this one. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. First and 15 now. Ball on the 41. Pitches back. Runs outside for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. That'll bring up second and 12. And they push him out at the 26-yard line. Tack 
Go around the 17 yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. I got you, punk. Running. Check three. Check three. Check three. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. That's a great tackle. The seven yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. Third down. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Yeah, let's get that ball here. Let's get that ball right here. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. What is it? What is Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! run and a score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line and he hits the PAT a 13 play 86 yard drive and they get it in for seven Brad that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out they can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground taken from the three yard line and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Virginia Tech's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass protection. So he's, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. Second and 10, ball on the 30. And he just gets rid of it. it to the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. At the 30, to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the 13-yard line. Now, that was a good-looking screen pass. The defense blitzed, and that played right into the hands of the screen. It's hard to stop a screen when you blitz the quarterback. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Three down, three down. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Dog four. Go. Run. Heading for the corner. He's taken down at about the 13. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes it second and ten. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still second down. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. I got you, 88. I got here we you. Go, here we go, here we go. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Hokies always have guys that are near the top statistically, that and that's no way. exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. So we're looking at another third down here. And he tackles him hard at the 22. Following a loss of eight yards on the play. Fourth down. Yeah. 
After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Crunch time, defense. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. Red two. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. Tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he... Fires out quick. It's picked off. Brought down at the 23. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. From the 23 yard line. It's first down. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Brewer only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. Number nine is in at quarterback. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. That sets them up for the first and goal. First down. First down, and they are very close to tying this thing up. The Hokies quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. Bring him down at the four-yard line. That makes it third and goal. They're down a touchdown, so this is an important play. It's third and goal from the three. Touchdown, V Tech. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 24-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Around the 31 yard line. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Coleman, the return man. Coleman takes it at the 33, and he's taken down at the 43. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. 
Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Gives it off. Tackle for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll bring up third and six. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made at midfield. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 40-yard line, second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Going right to his tailback. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. Gain of two on the play. Fourth and down. once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. Going long. Finds the junior. Touchdown, Hokies. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 58-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Roger, Roger. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. You better run. 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 Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31. That's good for a gain of 11 you ain't going nowhere. Mike That'll make it second and four. Mike. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. First down grab. He's brought down in the open field. Jarrett on the tackle at the 40 yard line. First down. Ready! Blue 45! Blue 40 set! Set! Right there! 
Strike to his receiver, no good. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over it. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. And he's tackled at the 45. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Go down, go down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. And he's taken down at the 48. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From the 48 yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 32. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. And they make the stop at the 33. And he might want it all here and does. That close to being intercepted. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. He throws left. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. There was some movement on the line. False start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. The Yellow Jackets quarterback went down with that injury earlier. The bad news is it sounds like he's not going to be able to get back in this game. Black five, black five. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 34. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Makes it to the 44. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. run up the middle so the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down if you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop you know that you're going to have a functioning offense first and ten ball on their own 48 they'll spread the field with five wide looking for his man incomplete stanford the intended receiver on the play that makes it second and ten Virginia Tech is up seven. Go! And now he's got room to run. Nice 
nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it 35. Third and five situation. Ball on the 47. Back's got it on the quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Hughes awaits the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two. That makes it second. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Tackle. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Number 37. That's where you fly to Gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 32. Hey, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. He's on the run. Makes it to the 41. And he just gets rid of it. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Coleman back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Coleman's part of this attack obviously has the attention of the defense, and they got to be a little bit confused by what's going on. Well, Brad, I think they spent the entire week game planning to stop this running game, and they've done a good job of stopping him. The problem is they've left their corners isolated one-on-one, -on -one, and right now the passing game is just killing them. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Rock down. Right around the 38-yard line. Number 35 on the tackle with the 38-yard line. That Short yardage situation here. Two, two, Second down and one. Four down, four down. Hey, I got no Virginia case. Tech I got no up seven points. Red, two. Kill, kill. Motion, two. Motion, motion. Hit. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. No game. That'll make it third and one. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Eighty's getting the ball here. Eighty's getting the ball. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. As a man, he'll lose big yards.
Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 28. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 35. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. And he throws it away. Stop your body. Watch 36. 36 to life. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's under pressure, and down he goes at the 47. Virginia Tech is going to use their first time out of the half here. Coleman will be the return man. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Virginia Tech is up a score. Scrambling around. Brule only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Well, we've played a half of football. The Hokies with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad, but you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Let's go, let's go! Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. They come out in an empty backfield. He can't hang on. Incomplete. Stanford was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Throws this one out to the left. Picked off. It's the cornerback. He's at the 40. Griffin with the interception. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From the 30-yard line, first down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of seven on the play. Check, 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 check. That'll Mike bring up second six. and three. Mike, three, six. Go! Coming at him, that's four! Shift, shift! Run, run, And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. Check, 37, check, 37. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Check, 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 check. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Yellow Jackets quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Virginia Tech's shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. And if they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. Virginia Tech is up four. Wins it to his tight end, but he drops it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Dog four. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. And that one's incomplete. Stanford, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Gain of three yards. That brings up fourth and seven. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 45-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. He showed a good burst there. Return for a gain of 14 yards. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. Third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. 
Loss of one. Too easy, too easy. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He's at the 30, and they make the stop around the 24-yard line. Terrific run in a crucial spot. The big key was the offensive line giving the ball carrier room to get upfield. Tackle made at the 23. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Got you, boy. They bring him down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and eleven. It's third and eleven. Ball in the twenty-five. it to the end zone. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Wow, an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 54-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Coleman fields it at the two. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 41-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First and 10, ball on the 41. Taken down at the 47 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. From the 46 yard line. It's second down. Makes it out to about the 36. the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This one will fall incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. That'll bring up third and four. Fires out to his wideout. Knocked out of bounds at the 29. Gain of one on the play. Fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Go, go. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's stopped behind the line. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. 
And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Here's the pass, broken up. Fred, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. Third down. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. Let's go, D. Now he pitches it. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of four yards. First down. Nice run there. Number 10 on the carry. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. A gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Brought down at around the 48-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Runs right for a nice gain. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Up the middle for a nice game. The ball carrier. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. Seven on the play. Get a one out of this. First down. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. Georgia Tech is up by three. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty will make it first and 15. And he tackles him hard at the 24. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it second and long. It's the 11th play of the drive. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. How about the fullback? Now, that's how you run the option. That makes it 37. Looking right. Intercepted. And he might take this. Touchdown, Hokies. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. the extra point. Hughes is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. 
Atlanta goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And they hit him in the backfield. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Virginia Tech up by four. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. Pretty good job by the return man there. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Virginia Tech is up by four. They'll work the left. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. After a decent run up the gun. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, second 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Sack for a loss. Loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Hughes awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. That makes it second and ten. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Kill, kill, kill. He 
did not get to the first down marker. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Coleman fields it at the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Virginia Tech holds a four-point lead. He might have a chance. He's tackled right around the 40. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 40. Hands it to the back. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Handoff up the middle. That's a great tackle at the 19. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. the corner inside the 10 and they push him out at the six yard line so with that run they pick up another first just a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field easy easy run, 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 run. touchdown virginia tech a powerful push by the line and a really nice run That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. He's out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And now he pitches it. He's to the 40. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. And he will score. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. They'll go for two in this situation. Check pass, check pass. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Go! He's got it for two. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. So 
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. Tackled after a decent pickup. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Carries the ball for a nice game. Looking for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Tackle at the 40. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. It's second and 12. Ball on the 40 yard line. Mike 40, Mike 40. Go! Here's the halfback. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Less than three minutes in the game. Georgia Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Georgia Tech's called their final timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the two. Tenth play of the drive. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings up second and goal. From the three-yard line, second down. A little over a minute in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green, 15. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three. Yellow, three. Touchdown, V-Tech! That could 
have been it right there. That score might be the deciding factor in this football game. And he adds the extra point. Hughes looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And here's a quick throw. It falls incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Under a minute left in the game. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. Fourth down. He throws right. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. one's in the books and our final score Virginia Tech 35 Georgia Tech 25 as we wrap this game up Kirk what final thoughts do you want to share well this was shaping up to be a really close game but they did what they had to do made some big plays and were able to pull away Virginia Tech had a really tough matchup coming in but they were prepared motivated and came away with a really solid win That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.